Time right now to bring in the man who's bringing us this boring weather, but boring weather that we do, do enjoy, and that is Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And good morning. Yes, I'm glad you said that, because this should not be boring for you. <laughs> Your more national outlook? Yes. All right, you could have left it the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, nothing has changed at all. Nothing. I know. I know. And uh, I don't see too much changes. Not at all. Um, we'll have, you know, a lot of sun today with a high of 70. At this time of the year, the normal is 57. Yeah. Mid, mid-40s tonight, clear, sunny, 60 to 65 Thursday. So a little cooler. But then back to 65 to 70 Friday. Now, it's going to become partly cloudy Saturday, so it's not going to be as um, stellar of a day. Uh, so just be prepared for that. But we're mild, 70 to 75. And by Sunday, more clouds and sun and a spotty shower, but still mild, low 70s. So what's happening is that the return flow around this nice, beautiful high will begin to bring in some moisture off the Atlantic. And that's why we'll see clouds coming in Saturday and still with us on Sunday. But uh, at least no significant rain. I was going to say, it's not going to be uh, like a, 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 a rain that ruins the weekend. Uh, no, at all. no, not at all. Not at all. And uh, you, have, um, you have what is soon to become Hurricane Lisa uh, that's approaching the Yucatan. She's going to be headed toward Belize. And then she'll get into the Gulf of Mexico uh, probably on Friday. We'll have to see what happens there. And you have uh, Tropical Storm Martin which will also become a hurricane today in the central Atlantic, he's going to turn northward, and he may affect Greenland, of all places. Bizarre. Bizarre. Now, the most hurricanes that that uh, that, that come from Mexico and go into the Gulf, um, they end up going uh, from, from, like, uh, Houston uh, westward, right? They don't they don't really go over towards, uh, towards Florida much, do they? Uh, no, they usually don't. Um, again... It'll be interesting to see what this one does, but um, Florida may still uh, not be in for great weather because next week there's a system down there that's going to produce um, a large area of rain and wind. How tropical it gets, I do not know, but it's going to plague Florida for many days. So uh, I think the weather is going to get very interesting to watch, if not forecast, uh, next week. But certainly... Certainly not this week. All right. Now, I never got back to you. How did your sister's house make out down there? Um, she um, she said that she had a broken screen door or a storm door and a couple of broken windows, and they were repairing it. She, uh, she says that there was no water danger. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. If you had a broken window, she had to have some water inside. Huh? According to the real estate, because, you know, again, she didn't see it. But according to the real estate, uh, no, there wasn't. So, you... you uh, Rain doesn't fall straight down in a hurricane. Yeah, and, and her next-door neighbor texted her during the hurricane said he had three and a half feet of water. <laughs> Has she been down there to see it yet? No, hmm. no, not yet. I know that... Um, the next door neighbor told her that she's going to need to replace the air conditioning unit. So that's what she's working on now, All right. replacing that. Uh-huh. Isn't that something? So I, I don't know uh, between you and me. Uh, she just may not be letting out. Yeah. She's not going to let Pat know he was right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's what it may be coming down to. So <laughs> that's that. My great niece is out of the hospital. Well, that's good news. They said it was a combination of two different viruses, and uh, also asthma could be entering the picture. So today they're bringing her to a pediatric lung specialist who they have had uh, from a couple of years ago. Uh, so she's going there today, but at least she's home, thank goodness for that. And um, that is it. I mean, everything else is quiet on the weather front, Pat's sitting back. And enjoying this because it is stress 
stress-free. You know, speaking about stress and stress-free, I had I went to the hospital yesterday to check in with uh, yeah. uh, the two two more tests that I had. One test I've never had before. I've had, I've had to bring in urine samples, okay, <clears throat> but I had a I had to collect all all my urine in a twenty four hour period. They give you a special container, and yeah, I had to bring that in, <clears throat> and then I gave blood, okay. It's the weirdest thing holding a, a gallon can. <laughs> and you just you don't you don't want to drop it. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to make any mistakes with that can. <laughs> so and you didn't, right? No, I didn't. But still I, I, I and because I was only an, an outpatient, I didn't have to use a wheelchair. I'd have to travel a lot. But I'm walking in with crutches carrying this thing. And everybody's everybody's like clearing away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they knew then, huh? Well, yeah. Nobody was said, there's a guy with crutches and he's holding the container and it's, yeah, we're going to stay away from him. But uh, another thing happened which really uh, sent me for a loop and that was uh, they had more blood tests, all right? Mm -hmm. So I have a low blood count anyways. I have about three quarters of the amount of blood that I should have for the red cells. So they, uh, a friend brought me there. Because I, I, I just don't, whenever I have to have blood given, I get, I get very weak. Six vials they took. <laughs> Six vials. And I'm glad I had my friend Mike uh, uh, go with me because uh, uh, he helped me on the way back. Because, you know, you, when you have a low blood count as it is and they take six vials of blood, uh, there's not that much remaining to give you a lot yeah, of strength. <laughs> I, I, I recall my doctor, the one who is uh, still in jail. Yeah. I recall going to him for the physical and him taking easily 12, 12 vials. And I used to say to him, are you are you draining me? <laughs> and he used to look at me and he said, you're the patient, I'm the doctor. I said, okay, fine. But he used to check for everything. By the way, uh, they uh, appointed a public prosecutor huh. uh, for him. And um, she, is, um, she is going to, uh, to try... To do something for him, so I don't know how long it takes, but at least there's a little action going there. And uh, the other thing that I had to tell you is that um, TV-wise, um, I watched a series <clears throat> that I think. Well, you know, you have too much to watch already. I'm not even going to tell you about it. No, tell because, me about it. Oh, yeah, okay, always um, up here. It really is a very, very interesting series. It's called The Watcher. Oh, I've seen some. I've seen some of that. Yeah. So I started that, and uh, <clears throat> that's another good one. That's another good one. But uh, you have to watch the patient. I'm telling you, you have to watch the patient. So you uh, you didn't even start. I know uh, there was a friend of mine who did start over the weekend, and they watched three episodes. Um, one, two, three, back to back. But I told you they're short. They're about 20 mm -hmm. minutes. But here's another little story I had to tell you. But a friend of mine who was diagnosed with uh, uh, colon cancer over a year ago. And uh, he went for treatment and uh, doing very well, working uh, seven, five days a week, uh, doing well. So they informed him that his uh, doctor uh, was going to be leaving and he's going to have a new doctor. So he went in for the physical and the doctor said to him, well, I'd like to run my own test because I'd like to, you know, go for my own thing. So Ken uh, said to him, well, you know, everything else, though, is fine, right? And he looked at him and he goes, what do you mean fine? He goes, well, nothing new. He said, um, you have stage four colon cancer. He said, that's incurable. And he turned around to me and said, I was never told that. He goes, you weren't? He said, no. So um, he's under test now. And I told his wife, I said, I think you better talk to a lawyer. Oh, stage four, and he wasn't informed. Holy smokes. That's malpractice. Uh, that's bad. Bad. All so, right, well, on that but note. That could be beat. Yeah. That could be beat. You yeah. know, as, long as, as long as the liver's not involved, uh, uh, you can get out of the odds there. Yeah. All right, well, best of luck to him, and uh, we'll speak with you tomorrow. Yes, and enjoy the sunshine. All right, Pat, take care. Okay, bye-bye.
Pat began with this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast. You folks watching on Facebook Live, we'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else stay with us as we wrap up our first hour. 48 degrees at 67 Main Street on the Green in Sharon. Robin Hood Radio is WHDD AM and FM Sharon, WBSL FM Sheffield, and WLHV FM Annandale on Hudson. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, and his bread of crabs. We know where you live, we know where you bank. Robin Hood, slightly off, but very good. Robin Hood Radio, slightly off, but very good.